The province says ground has been broken for a new rental complex expected to be completed by 2026. It's set to be made of two wood frame buildings with 104 homes varying in size, from studios to three bedroom units. The people who actually run uh, the city of Whistler, the people who uh, work in the restaurants, the people who work in the tourism industry, uh, they need housing and it uh, has been a challenge for a long time. This housing is part of the provincial program announced earlier this year. It aims to build thousands of rental homes on underused public land for middle-income earners, spending no more than approximately 30% of their income on rent. The province says it's providing nearly $13 million toward the project through a BC Builds grant and making more than $27 million in low-interest financing available. I am convinced that this investment is a clear statement of the high regard that you hold for the tourism industry and most importantly for tourism workers. When economist questions if it makes sense for the provincial government to build brand new homes or if instead there should be subsidized wages in Whistler. By making this housing available only probably to some of the best compensated workers at Whistler, uh, you're reducing the need for subsidy, uh, but you still leave open the question of how the less well compensated workers near Whistler uh, are going to manage to live anywhere within shouting distance. Meanwhile, projects with BC Builds are also underway in Gibsons, Duncan, Vancouver and North Vancouver. Michelle Morton, CBC News, Vancouver.